Welcome back to Hell Base Network, guys. I'm your host, Nicholas Glenn, and today we are going to be talking Book of Boba Fett in Is or Is Not the sequel trilogy going to be a race before our very eyes. Now, this last episode of The Book of Boba Fett was definitely by far the best episode. But at the very end of it, they kind of leave you hanging on which direction this is all going to go. <clears throat> now, Disney canon, as of right now, uh, Ben Solo is Luke's first student that he trains and with the end of Mando season two, everybody was like, okay, uh, they're retconning the sequel trilogy. Uh, you know, the world between worlds stuff happened in Rebels. Uh, Luke took Grogu to be his first student, which retcons the canon that's been put in place. You know, there's been rumors of the Civil War at Disney with Favreau and Filoni verse and Kathleen Kennedy. Um, and it, with the end of this episode, leaving Grogu with the choice of either going back to Mando or choosing to stay and train with Luke is going to tell all. Um, now, this next episode has me very concerned because I feel that they are going to have him choose Mando and he's going to end up going back to Mando for Mando season three and Luke's first student is going to be Ben Solo. Now, rumor also has it that Han is going to be in next week's episode. If we see a young Ben Solo and Grogu ends up going back to Mando, man, I'm going to be really checked out from anything that they do moving forward. Of course, I'm still going to watch it. Of course, it could still be good, but if the end of Luke's journey, as we see it now, turns out to be the Luke we got in the sequel trilogy, then for me personally, it's like, what, what's the point? We already know the path that he's going down and what where he ends up. Um, now, they could 100% retcon that, have this be in a separate timeline. That's what I'm hoping for. Whether or not they do it, who knows? Um, you know, uh, another good example that comes to mind is the Final Fantasy VII remake that they did for, for PlayStation. Uh, they're actually changing a lot of things in that story. And uh, this could actually be like a, a separate timeline in that story. And, that, and they do it really well. And when I was playing that game, I thought of the current Favreau Filoni verse, you know, with Luke. Um, so my fingers are crossed that they end up retconning the sequel trilogy, but I'm really questioning it at this point. Um, I, I have no clue what's going to happen. Um, you know, and even if he goes back to Mando, could they end up retconning it later? Maybe they're going to be testing the waters, seeing how fans react and then making their decision later. But I can tell you right now, if if Grogu goes back to Mando, and if the Knights of Ren show up with the with the um, with Crimson Dawn with the Syndicate and stuff, uh, because they are a part of them uh, in the comic books, apparently. Uh, now, one thing they did retcon from the comics, which is Disney canon, is Yoda's lightsaber. In the comics, Yoda's lightsaber is thrown into a fire; it's destroyed. So the fact that Luke has Yoda's lightsaber is a retcon in itself from Disney canon with the comic books. But I don't also don't know how much tie in the shows have as opposed to the books in the comics. I don't know if it's completely separate or if they're kind of tied to what's going on there. Um, but they definitely did retcon that. So hopefully they'll retcon the sequel trilogy. Hopefully, uh, uh, Grogu ends up staying with Luke next week, um, but we'll see what happens. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this in the comment section below. Doomcock also did a good video that he dropped today um, questioning this exact same thing. Um, so definitely go over to Doomcock's channel and check out that video. 
Uh, I really hope this thing's not headed to the sequel trilogy because if it does, like I said, I'm going to be checked out. Uh, a lot of people are going to wind up with egg on their face who was claiming that uh, the sequel trilogy is going to be a race. I've always held out hope for that, but I also know it's Disney and, um, you know, there's always a part of me that that knew that 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 could be total BS and that they could just all this could actually, in fact, be heading towards the sequel trilogy. Uh, I guess we'll get our answers hopefully next week and we'll see what happens. But let me know your thoughts. Give me your opinions on what you think is going to happen. Um, and if there's another angle or something I'm missing here, definitely uh, put it in the comment section below. Uh, me and Coach will definitely be talking about this more and more uh, as the week goes on, uh, as we build up to next week's episode with the appearance, supposedly, of Han Solo next week. So uh, looking forward to it. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed this episode. By far the best, even though, again, second episode in a row with you know, little to no Boba Fett in it. You know, this is the book of Boba Fett show. And we've had two episodes in a row now with uh, pretty much a non-existent Boba Fett with one episode left. So uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As coach always says, we are, you are Echo Base Network. And until the next one, we'll talk to y'all later.